Hi. The changes in Microsoft are very frequent. If you are not updated with the latest products, latest news, latest technology in Microsoft, you are completely outdated in Microsoft. Whatever you have learned in the past in Microsoft may not help you today with the latest technologies in Microsoft. The story of certificate has no different. If you have, uh, apart from the fundamental exam, yes, for the fundamental exam, it has uh, a unlimited valid validity. It is uh, the validity never expires for the fundamental exams. But if you are checking for the advanced exam, if you are, uh, if, if you check about the advanced exams, validity will be only for one year. After one year, your validity will be over. So uh, in between, you will be able to, uh, before six months, before the validity finished, six months before, you will be able to renew the <coughs> certificate. Renewal is completely free uh, and it is non-projected. In other words, there won't be any examiner watching you while writing the exam. If there is a 50 to 60 question for the original exam, for the renewal, there will be only 10 to 15 question maximum. And it is very easy. Uh, only the changes that happen in one year period, the, those questions will be available for the renewal. So from the official side, let us check it out. How to how we can renew? What are the changes has come uh, with, the, uh, with the certificate? Let us check it out. Be with me. As mentioned, let us check the certification expiration policy. For all the role-based and specialty certification expires in one year. Microsoft role-based and specialty, specialty certificate are valid for one year from the date you complete all requirement to end that certificate. To prevent your certification from expiring you, must renew the certificate before certification expiration date. Once the certificate expires, you will no longer be able to renew that certificate. Please keep in mind, once the certification expires, you will no longer be able to renew that certificate. You will have to re-end that certificate by passing all the required exam again. So keep that in mind. Once that, uh, If you have failed to renew the exam, if you fail to renew the certificate, you will not be able to renew it again. You will have to re-end it. You will have to write the exam again. In the case of fundamental exam, what happens? Microsoft fundamental certificate do not expire. Other Microsoft certification expiry is MOS, MTA, MCSA uh, do not expire. All these certificates do not expire. All the previous certificate given earlier, these are retired certificate as a fine knowledge. So this is uh, do not expire as of now. Presently, Microsoft does, doesn't conduct any of these exams as, of, as per my knowledge. And for certification end before June 13, 2021 has two year validity, valid for two years. Okay, so let us check how we can renew it. What are the policy for the renewal? So in the, from the official side, we can check it out. Renewal are free. There is no cost for the renewal your certificate. Just make sure you pass the online assessment before your certificate expires. Fundamental certificate do not expire. As you know, fundamental certification do not expire. For all other, all other certificate, you will have to renew. Renewal is free. Six month renewal window. The renewal window will be for six months. That means you can take the renewal assessment anytime during your six months eligibility window via Microsoft Learn. Once you pass your certification will be extended one year from the expiration date. If you pass it, you will get one more year uh, certificate validity. Assessment are short and structured. Assessment focus on recent technologies and industry updates. Uh, see whatever changes has happened between this one year period those questions will be available for the uh, assessment see if the original exam is having some 50 to 60 questions this may be having only 10 to 15 question maximum so this is very short and uh, uh, there won't be any examiner watching you for this exam so these are the uh, how we can renew it and the information about the renewal and in my previous video, I have mentioned that uh, you may get, we may get free voucher if you attend the um, uh, event that conducted by Microsoft for all the fundamental exams. But there is a latest update regarding that uh, from March 20th onwards, if you, even if you attend the virtual training, uh, you may not get the voucher free. Uh, there may be a chance you get a discount for the exam, but you will not get a free voucher uh, from March 28, 2023 onwards. So as I said in the beginning of this uh, video, please keep in mind, uh, Microsoft keep on changing. 
the changes are very frequent you will have to keep on updating you with the microsoft latest news products and technologies otherwise you are outdated you won't be able to survive in the microsoft world that's it thanks for watching this video if you like it please subscribe and share to your friends we'll meet you in another video bye